Here we go, the guts of the ICOM AT-130. Uh, so I wired this up last night. It would not work, it would not tune. Um, I looked inside the CPU compartment here. There was a supercapacitor that this uses for memory backup. And knowing what I know of ICOMs, they wire that in parallel with the VCC for the CPU. And when those capacitors or little batteries fail short, the CPU cannot come out of reset. So I desoldered that and it started tuning, but it couldn't find a match. Um, so I then deduced that the problem is over here. There's a bunch of diodes in here um, that rectify and turn RF into DC so it can measure how well the antenna is matched. Look at this thing, look at all those coils and relays and stuff. Um, so I replaced about six or seven of those. This appears to be tuning. Um, so I'm going to start out on 20 meters. What you do, um, I don't have the automatic radio controlled tuning done yet. But there's a little button at the bottom of the frame there. And I'm gonna transmit with about 10 watts of RF. That's on. And then I'm gonna hit that little button, which is a force tune. And then uh, I heard y'all like relays. So here we go. Point five SWR and that antenna is not meant for it at all. You can try it again. Yeah, 1.5 there. So let's go down to 40 meters. Sorry, my radio is dirty. And we're going to transmit. SWR is high as hell. Hit the button. Fast. Because it has it in memory right now. Um, so you write down the, the status of these lights in your logbook. This is a marine tuner. It's meant for ships. Um, so you write down which lights are on or off. You can then, if your ship is literally sinking and the computer part of this is not working, you can flip the little switch here to manual mode and you can turn all those dip switches on and off according to the lights and you'll have the same match, thereby allowing you to call for help with a distress signal, whether or not this thing is actually working. Those dip switches are hardwired to the relays. Um, so this lets you know which ones are turned on. You write that down. And then when you're dying, you rip the cover off this, flip those switches, and you can call for help. Um, so next step is to try to get it to automatically tune. Supposedly you can just push the tune button on the radio and this will work. I don't know that quite working yet, but that's the next step. So. Adventures in Solderland, and that's the output right there. Do not touch.